Hey, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Big Sur on VirtualBox in a Windows 10 PC. Now I'm gonna quickly go over some specs here for system settings, just to make sure that you have everything that you need. Uh, we're gonna need Windows 10. Uh, your computer should have at least eight gigs of RAM. Also, we wanna make sure that you have 60 gigs of clear hard drive space. Uh, I've tried it with 40 and I've tried it with 50 with no such luck. So you're definitely gonna want at least 60 gigs of space. Uh, you're going to need to download the virtual box and expansion pack, the Big Sur image file, and a command file. Now, the command file is to allow us to install um, and make some modifications to virtual box so Big Sur can go in there successfully. You're going to need to download those files. Make sure they're clean sources. We're not going to leave you hanging. In the description, we're going to have links to all the files that you're going to require. Uh, they're secure, and you don't have to worry about any malware or viruses embedded in them. We're also going to have timestamps in the description below. For example, the first step that we're going to do is install VirtualBox on the Windows. If you already have that done, you can look down there for a reference and just jump to the next step so you don't have to watch the whole part. As you know, not every installation goes through cleanly. So what we've done is we've added a new page to our website. Uh, that is forum.geekrar.com. Uh, in the site, it's a it's a great resource for people who have issues and fixes and updates and everything else that you can find useful all in one spot with links to the questions that you're probably going to ask yourself if you have a problem. So again, it's forum.geekrar.com. Let's get started with the installation. So the first thing we're going to do is at our desktop, we're going to open up our web browser and then we'll open up a new tab, head over to Google and inside Google, we're going to search for VirtualBox. And we can click on that and here's VirtualBox. You get a big download window here. Uh, we're going to click on downloads because we need more than just the Windows download file, uh, which we're going to select right now. Click on that to download the host file. Uh, we also want to install the expansion pack. So what we have to do is scroll down a bit further and here we go. It's listed here as the expansion pack. We can click on that and download the files and now we can begin to install. So we'll just close out of our browser. And we just got to go into our downloads folder to open it up. There it is. Double click on it. Let's just minimize that. And we can begin installing it. Here's a wizard and click on next. Uh, all default components are going to be installed and the location is going to be the default as well. And shortcuts and everything here, we'll just keep it as checked. Uh, and then we're going to do the network interface, say yes to that and click on install and it's going to install. We can say yes to this and it's going to install everything that we need, copy it over onto your computer. You might get a prompt for a network adapter or a USB adapter during the installation phase. Uh, click yes to that because it's going to be vital to the virtual machine. Let this continue to install. So we're finished here. We're going to leave the check mark checked so it can launch and here we go. We need to do one more thing now, and that is to install the expansion pack. So to install the expansion pack, we gotta go up to preferences, and then down on the left, extensions, and then we're gonna click on the little green and blue icon here, and we're gonna look for our virtual pack extensions package right here, and then click on open. Now it's gonna to try to install it, click on install, and for this agreement, we have to scroll all the way down, and then click on I agree. And at the prompt, we can say yes. And now it's going to install the package. There we go. It's done successfully. And we can click OK. And you can click OK again. Get out of here. And here we are back at the next window. And now we can move on to the next step. The next step is to create a virtual machine. So before we begin, we're going to need to make sure we have two things handy. And that is going to be the command file and the Big Sur ISO image. We're just gonna quickly jump in here to our file explorer. You can see the command file is here. Uh, we're gonna be using this. We'll be copying and pasting some of these commands in the command window. And then we're gonna be also using this Big Sur ISO file. Again, both of these are linked in the description below. So we're ready to start a virtual machine here. We're gonna first click on the blue icon in the top right hand corner, click on that and that's gonna prompt a uh, wizard here. We're gonna give it a relevant name. You can just call it Big Sur or whatever name you'd like. Just make sure you can reference it later on. 
So we're gonna type in Big Sur. For the machine folder below, we're gonna leave that as default. And for the type, we wanna scroll down to Mac OS X. And then the version, if we scroll down to the bottom here, we have uh, the High Sierra 64 bit. We wanna make sure that is selected and then click on next. For memory, uh, again, like I had said earlier, you wanna make sure you have at least eight gigs available. Anything less, you're gonna probably have issues. So we're gonna select eight gigs and then click on next. We can leave this as default, click on create. And in here, we actually wanna select VHD and then click on next. And we can leave this dynamically allocated, next. In hard disk space, we wanna have enough. 20, 30, 40 is not gonna be enough. We're suggesting 60 gigs at least. And then you can click on create. And now we're gonna completely close out of this window. And the next step that we're gonna do is run a couple of commands. Here we go. Now we wanna change the name. So we're gonna be changing the name. It says VBox name here. That's a, that's a temporary placeholder. Uh, we wanna replace it with the virtual box that we just created. And for us, it's gonna be Big Sur. So we're gonna type that in here. As you can see, these are all gonna change when we click on replace all. They've all been modified. So this is just an easy method so we can copy and paste in the command prompt, which we're gonna do right now. So in the start, click on start and then type in CMD. We wanna make sure we're running it as administrator. So say yes to the prompt and we can just move that over here. And back at the text file, we're just gonna highlight this and make sure we're in the right folder, paste it, hit enter. And that's gonna change the directory for us to make sure we're in the virtual box directory. And now we have these lines that we're gonna copy. Okay, and then we can just paste it in here and then hit enter. Great, so that's done. And now we've modified VirtualBox to allow the Big Sur image to be installed. So we can just close out of all these windows now. So with that done, we're back at the desktop. And what we can do is open up VirtualBox and we're gonna double click on the icon on the desktop and let it load up and make sure that we have it selected. We can click on start. And the first thing it's gonna do is prompt us to select the ISO image that we're gonna use. So we have to click on the little folder icon on the right hand side and then click on the add and navigate towards the downloads folder. At least that's where we have it. Wherever you have it, you wanna select it and then click on open. And now it's loaded in here and we can click on choose then click on start and it's going to boot up. So the boot up process might take a few minutes. Uh, we're going to jump ahead to the next step. Okay. After the initial boot up, the first thing it's going to ask us to do is select a language. We're going to be selecting English. Let's click on the next arrow. And now it's gonna examine the available volumes. So what we wanna do is actually format this drive to make sure it's at the correct format for Mac OS. So we're gonna select the disk utility and then click on continue. And inside the disk utility, on the left-hand side, we wanna select our virtual disk to format. So we have it selected and then there's an erase icon at the top. It's gonna to prompt you and you wanna to wanna to enter a name right now by default, It's Select it as untitled, we'll just type in Apple and then click on erase. Should only take a few uh, seconds here to format it since there's nothing on the drive. And then we can continue on to the next step, which is installing the operating system. Okay, it's done. You can click on the done button here and then we can return by we can return by clicking on the red icon in the corner and it'll close out of this window. And now we can select install Mac OS and click on continue. So we have the prompt right now to install the operating system. We can click on continue and then we get an agreement. Uh, for this agreement, you can scroll down and read it and select agree. You get prompted again to click on agree. So we're gonna do that. And it wants you to select the disc. We only have one available disc, which is the one that we just named Apple. So we can click on that and then click on continue. 
Again, this is gonna take a few minutes to install. It's gonna give us approximately 14 minutes here. We're gonna let that install. We'll jump on to the next step. Okay, so the first thing that it's gonna ask us when it's completed the installation process is to configure the PC. So it's gonna ask you to select your region. We're gonna scroll down to United States and then select it and then click on continue. And then by default, it's selecting American keyboard dictation and input. So we're gonna leave it as is and then click on continue. Accessibility, we're not modifying anything here. You can if you'd want, so, but we're gonna say not now. And for data and privacy, if you wanna go further, you can click on learn more. We're just gonna select continue. Uh, migration assistant, we're not gonna be migrating anything right now. Uh, you can migrate data from a Mac or PC, a Windows PC. We're gonna select not now and then go on to the next step. Uh, for sign in with your Apple ID, we're not gonna be signing in with an Apple ID right now. You can, you can send this up later. Uh, we'll click on that and we get prompted that we wanna skip. So we're gonna click on skip here. And then you get the terms and conditions of the operating system. Uh, you can scroll all the way through this, uh, read it if you like, click on agree. And once again, it's asking us to agree. We'll click on agree. And here we're gonna be creating a user account for the operating system. So you can type in whatever name you want here. We're just gonna be putting in our name, Geekwar. And then you're gonna also want to type in a password. So once again, we always recommend alphanumeric or something stronger. Uh, that's what we'll be typing in here. And the password hint is optional. So you can either type something in here or not. And then when we're done, you click on continue. You can select customize on the left-hand side if you want to change the settings. We're just going to be using the express setup. So we're going to click on continue. And at the last part is analytics. Uh, we can click on continue here. You can also get more information by clicking on the link above and screen time. This is always can be modified later. So we'll click on setup later. Now the PC, now the virtual box is going to reboot and it's going to go back into it. And there'll be just a few more things that we need to get this done. Okay, we're loading back up into the operating system. And so here's the user that we created. We can just click on that and then we're gonna get prompted for a password. So we'll just type in the password that we just created and hit enter. For our last prompt, we have the feedback assistant. Uh, we can just click on continue with that and it's gonna head over to the desktop of Big Sur Mac OS and it should be fully loaded up here. And here we are at the desktop of Big Sur on VirtualBox in a Windows 10 PC. That is how you, that is how you install the operating system in VirtualBox. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please give us a like. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below, or you can head over to our new forum, which is forum.geekrar.com. We have a community of users there that are willing to help. And I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, you can do that as well. We're going to be uploading a few more videos of how to do this with VMware, as well as other flavors of Mac OS. So you can look out for those shortly. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.